God play tricks on us. Hey everyone, my name is Christopher Donnell and it's Monday morning, meaning it's time for Motivational Monday. And the question I'm asking is, does God play tricks on us? You know, we've all had moments where we've wondered why this situation isn't working out, or maybe there's a lot of challenges in the process of getting to the goal of the journey we are on. But I wanna highlight a few things about this idea that maybe God is playing tricks on us. But just because there are slow moments or challenges does not mean that God's plan for your life isn't working out. In fact, maybe it's not even God playing tricks on us. Maybe it's us giving up on the idea of what God had for us. You know, if you've ever planned for a big trip, or if you ever planned for a big event, you know how much work goes into it, right? Uh, could you imagine going on a cross country trip? Say you start in Ohio and you're and you're going to the the West Coast. You're going to San Francisco. And you drive all the way there and you get 100 miles from the city and you have this sinking realization what if the city isn't there and you turn around and go back home because you doubt that there's a, a the the goal at the end of the journey or it's like if you dated somebody for years and, and you plan this this life together and you get to know each other intimately and, and you plan a wedding and you and you go to get married in a day before you're like i just don't think this is going to work out or maybe with kids, you, you have a kid and you raise him until he's 17 and a half years old, you know, six months away from his 18th birthday, and you say, you know, I'm going to give you away. I just don't think you're going to work out. You know, I'm, I have questions about your, your personality or the, the type of person you're going to become. No, that would be madness. We would never do that to those items. Uh, in fact, I would say um, we tend to, to hold on to a lot of things in life, maybe sometimes longer than we should but maybe we give up on things that God has given us a lot quicker. You know, I'm guilty of this. Uh, you know, God will reveal something to me uh, and I trust him for a season or for a moment, if I'm being honest. And the moment that that season or that moment becomes too long, because I don't like waiting, right? I give up or, or maybe when the moment becomes too difficult or there's too many challenges, I say, well, God must have had something else going on or, or maybe I just miss God and it's too late, right? But in reality, God is revealing his plan and purpose along the journey, even in the middle of those long seasons, even in the middle of those difficult seasons. Uh, he's really just looking for us to take one step in front of the other. And once you take one, you take another. And once you take that other, you take the other, right? And you fall after God until you get to the place that he's called us to be. Now, doors can close along our journey. There, there's a reality that there are missed opportunities for sure. But there is usually a general peace around uh, when that moment happens. You're not afraid, you're not worried, you're not anxious. It'll be like, okay, God, I see that you're doing something different here. Um, but a long process and a difficult process does not necessarily mean a closed door either. You know, I was thinking about Jonah and God told Jonah, the prophet, to go to Nineveh, which is this ruthless city, right? These godless people, and they were the enemies of, of, of Jonah, right? And Jonah gets scared and angry and neglects the call and ends up taking this much more difficult path all the way into a belly of a fish. And, uh, you know, God has to have a come to Jesus moment with him. And then he goes to Nineveh. He ends up following, you know, God after after he throws his temper tantrum and runs away, um, which I think we can all do at times. But then God never gave up on his plan because he never gave up on Jonah. He pursued Jonah and he kept after him again. Jonah can look at that situation with, man, this is really hard. This is really difficult. God must not be in this. But God was in it. He was actually in those difficult things. He was in the, the process. And I think that's where we have to lean into and identify with Jonah there is just because something's difficult and just because it's long does not mean it's not God. You know, God had a journey for Jonah and he has a journey for you. Every journey is an opportunity. It's an opportunity to grow, learn, discover, and advance the kingdom of God. But it's also an opportunity to discern. And to discern, you need to have a relationship with God. You also need to surround yourself with other people who also have relationships with God. And then you also have to spend time with yourself knowing who you are with God, but also knowing that God's revealing things to you. Um, I think about Paul in the New Testament. When Paul came to, to, to know the salvation of Jesus Christ, he didn't have somebody walking his hand to, to disciple him, essentially. I mean, he, he knew about the faith, but he had an encounter with Jesus, and Jesus showed things to Paul that only Paul knew. Now, Paul then had other people around him, and then he had a relationship with God, and he combined all those aspects to discern where God was calling him. But we will be spoken to specifically. You know, we will be spoken through community, uh, and we'll be spoken to in, in times of worship with we're with God and, and, and talking to him and praying with him. Uh, so as you surround yourself to help discern 
where your next steps are in your journey, know that God is not trying to trick you. You know, if you have a piece uh, of, of discomfort, even if it's hard, take the next step. Even if it's difficult or it takes a long time, Peace does not mean there won't be hardships or there won't be roadblocks, but peace does mean confident in God, confidence in God's character and promise regardless of our circumstances. I will say that again. You know, peace does not mean uh, that there won't be roadblocks. It's just confidence in God's character and in his promises regardless of what our circumstances look up. So don't give up on that dream or that promise that God has given you. Don't abandon the place that you're supposed to go to just because there are a few naysayers along the journey or you have a few challenges getting there. Again, Paul talks in Galatians 1.10, he says this, obviously I'm not trying to win the approval of people, but of God. If people pleasing was my goal, I would not be Christ's servant. I really love that. I thought that was so good. I read that this week. And I had to share that with you all because, and I think we know this, we're not supposed to people please. I mean, we're supposed to love people. We're supposed to be a community with them. But if our goal is to make sure that everybody around us likes us or everybody approves of who we are or what God's doing in our life, we're going to miss where, where Jesus is leading us with the gospel. Um, I think we can have community and we can have discernment, like I already mentioned, but to just try to people please, you'll never go far with that. Because again, if your goal is to please people, it's not the gospel. The goal should always be to listen to God and go after his heart. And when we go after his heart, he gives us dreams and purpose. So why do we give up on what God has given us? You know, God is not interested in a pulling a fast one on us. You know, I had to, to learn this along my, my journey in discernment of what God's um, purpose was for me. He would reveal something to me and he would show you like, this is where you need to be. And uh, maybe it would take a long time to get there or there'd be roadblocks. But it was always, it always came to be, it always came to fruition. And I always was reminded like, God's not going to bring me 99% of the way and go, psych, just kidding. And, you know, it's a big joke on me, right? No, that's not who he is. He's not in the, interested in bringing you 399 miles out of a 400 mile trip just to say, just kidding. He's the God of Jonah and he's the God of Paul and he's the God of you and me. He's the God of not giving up. He's the, he's the God of going through hardships. He's the God of, of making sure we have peace through those circumstances, whatever they are. So the motivation this week is don't quit on the dream. Don't forget your purpose. Don't stop the journey, right? Find your people and find God's peace. So we're praying for you. Ask that question today. God, maybe this is a difficult situation. Shouldn't help me uh, discern through this. What just because it's hard doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Doesn't mean there's a closed door, and it doesn't mean that God's playing tricks on you. So 